In the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight the desert. In the desert, a highway for our God. Morning prayer right to for Saturday of the second week of Advent, December 11th, 2021. Begins on page 82 of the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in beginning is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Invitatory Psalm 95, the Venite, begins on page 82. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 30 and Psalm 32. Psalm 30 can be found in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 621. I will exalt you, O Lord, because you have lifted me up and have not let my enemies triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you, and you restored me to health. You brought me up, O Lord, from the dead. You restored my life as I was going down to the grave. Sing to the Lord, you servants of his. Give thanks for the remembrance of his holiness. For his wrath endures but a twinkling of an eye, his favor for a lifetime. Weeping may spend the night, but joy comes in the morning. While I felt secure, I said, I shall never be disturbed. You, Lord, with your favor, made me as strong as the mountains. Then you hid your face, and I was filled with fear. I cried to you, O Lord. I pleaded with the Lord, saying, What profit is there in my blood? If I go down to the pit, will the dust praise you or declare your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my wailing into dancing. You have put off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy. Therefore, my heart sings to you without ceasing. O Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. Psalm 32. Happy are they whose transgressions are forgiven and whose sin is put away. Happy are they to whom the Lord imputes no guilt and whose spirit there is no guile. While I held my tongue, my bones withered away because of my groaning all day long. For your hand was heavy upon me day and night. My moisture was dried up as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not conceal my guilt. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. Then you forgave me the guilt of my sin. Therefore, all the faithful will make their prayers to you in time of trouble. When the great waters overflow, they shall not reach them. You are my hiding place. You preserve me from trouble. You surround me with the shouts of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Do not be like horse or mule, which have no understanding who must be fitted with bit and bridle, or else they will not stay near you. Great are the tribulations of the wicked, but mercy embraces those who trust the Lord. Be glad, you righteous, and rejoice in the Lord. Shout for joy, all who are true of heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson comes from the second chapter of the book of Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, in the seventh month, on the 21st day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Speak now to Zerubbabel, son of Sheatiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest, and to the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? How does it look to you now? 
Is it not in your sight as nothing? Yet now take courage, O Zerubbabel, says the Lord. Take courage, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, the high priest. Take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord. Work, for I am with you, says the Lord of hosts, according to the promise that I made you when you came out of Egypt. My spirit ab abides among you. Do not fear. For thus says the Lord of hosts, once again in a little while, I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all the nations, so that the treasure of all nations shall come, and I will fill this house with splendor, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine and the gold is mine, says the Lord of hosts. The latter splendor of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give prosperity, says the Lord of hosts. On the 24th day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came by the prophet Haggai, saying, Thus says the Lord of hosts, ask the priest for a ruling. If one carries consecrated meat in the fold of one's garment, and with the fold touches bread or stew or wine or oil or any kind of food, does it become holy? The priests answered, No. Then Haggai said, If one who is unclean by contact with the dead body touches any of these, does it become unclean? The priests answered, Yes, it becomes unclean. Haggai then said, So it is with this people and with this nation before me, says the Lord, and so with every work of their hands and what they offer there is unclean. But now consider what will come to pass from this day on. Before a stone was placed upon a stone in the Lord's temple, how did you fare? When one came to a heap of 20 measures, there were but 10. When one came to the wine vat to draw 50 measures, there were but 20. I struck you and all the products of your toil with blight and mildew and hail, yet you did not return to me, says the Lord. Consider from this day on, from the 24th day of the ninth month, since the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider, is there any seed left in the barn? Do the vine, the fig tree, the pomegranate, pomegranate, and the olive tree still yield nothing? From this day on, I will bless you. Here ends the reading. Our response to our first lesson is Canticle 12, a song of creation, also known as Benedicte, Omnie opere domini, found on page 88 of the Book of Common Prayer. The invocation, glorify the Lord, O you works of the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. The cosmic order, glorify the Lord, you angels and all powers of the Lord, O heavens and all waters above the heavens, sun and moon and stars of the sky, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord every shower of rain and fall of dew, all winds and fire and heat. Winter and summer, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O chill and cold, drops of dew and flakes of snow, frost and cold, ice and sleet, Glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O nights and days, O shining light and enfolding dark. Storm clouds and thunderbolts glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. <coughs> the earth and its creatures. Let the earth glorify the Lord, praise him, and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O mountains and hills, and all that grows upon the earth. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O springs of water, seas and streams, O whales and all that move in the waters, all birds of the air, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O beasts of the wild and all you flocks and herds, O men and women everywhere, glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. The people of God. Let the people of God glorify the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O priests and servants of the Lord, praise him and highly exalt him forever. Glorify the Lord, O spirits and souls of the righteous, praise him and highly exalt him forever. You that are holy and humble of heart, glorify the Lord, 
Praise him and highly exalt him forever. The doxology. Let us glorify the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. In the firmament of his power, glorify the Lord. Praise him and highly exalt him forever. Our second lesson is taken from a reading from the third chapter of the Revelation to John. And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have a name of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is on the point of death. For I have not found your works perfect in the sight of my God. Remember then what you received and heard. Obey it and repent. If you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come to you. Yet you have still a few persons in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me, dressed in white, for they are worthy. If you conquer, you will be clothed like them in white robes, and I will not blot your name out of the book of life. I will confess your name before my Father and before his angels. Let anyone who has an ear to listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Here ends the reading. Our response to our second lesson is Canticle 19, the Song of the Redeemed, also known as Magna et Mirabilia, found on page 94 of the Book of Common Prayer. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail, fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now, brothers and sisters, let us declare our faith in the form of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray with the words that our Lord Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's pray suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. The Collect of the Day. Merciful God, who sent your messengers, the prophets, to preach peace, to preach repentance, and prepare the way for our salvation. Give us grace to heed their warnings and forsake our sins, that we may greet with joy the coming of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The seasonal Collect. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, 
when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A Collect for Saturday. Almighty God, who after the creation of the world rested from all your works and sanctified a day of rest for all your creatures, grant that we, putting away all earthly anxieties, may be truly prepared for the service of your sanctuary, and that our rest here upon earth may be a preparation for the eternal rest promised to your people in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for mission. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. You may offer up any personal intercessions or thanksgivings you may have. A prayer of St. Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you are promised through your well-beloved Son, and when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all evermore. Amen. Here ends morning prayer for Saturday, December 11th, 2021, the Saturday of the second week of Advent. I invite you all to join us tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. for a celebration and worship of the Holy Eucharist. Until then, may God grant you a peaceful and a blessed day. Amen. God bless.